What's up, YouTube? Sami Kangaroo here, and we are going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how to extract multiple zip files or RAR files with WinRAR, which is um, a free program for the trial version. And it's very good, extremely good. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't heard about WinRAR, you've probably been living under a rock for a while, so let's just, you know, show you one of its really cool features. Uh, Let's say you're downloading a lot of what I use it for is brushes, Photoshop brushes, and um, font types. Then you're going to have a lot of zip folders because that's usually what they come in, or RAR files. Either way would work. Um, or your if you uh, custom firmware your PSP and you download stuff, usually it comes in a zip folder. Or if you jailbroke your iPod. Uh, and you're learning the SSH, most of the stuff comes in a zip folder or a RAR folder. So you could use this for a lot of different things, but let's just go ahead and extract it all. So first thing you want to do is open up WinRAR and then you want to find out where wherever you saved all your zip files to, whichever folder or directory they're in. So mine are on my desktop. So let's go there. Let's click the first one that you want and then Scroll down to your last one, hold shift, and click that one. So now all of them are highlighted. Okay. Now, um, if you want to unclick one, you could just hold control and, you know, click it. Or you can still hold control and click them back. So I want to do all of them. So it's, once they're all highlighted, you just right click and hit extract to the specified folder. Okay. And then, uh, it will save a folder. The very last name after the backward slash is going to be the folder name. So I'm going to name it brushes and fonts. And it will save to my desktop, or you could change where you're saving it to by in here and just clicking wherever you want to. But this is fine for me. So we'll hit OK. And this will come up if you have multiple of the same file name which I'm pretty sure is in one of the brushes such as like a readme or how to install things a readme text and since I already know how to install text and everything then I could just hit yes to all so it will replace all the files and then you should see your folder that you just created in here or if you saved it to your desktop it should be on your desktop and if you open that up here's all the extracted files for all my zip folders so that's been a really quick tutorial uh, comment rate subscribe and tell me any other tutorials you want to see and I'd be happy to do them see you later